Hello, I'm Mark Visser, a.k.a. Sparkus. Welcome to my channel. So a friend of a friend posted this picture on Facebook. And it caught my attention. So I followed along the link and went and saw the original interview where a, a member of the Westboro Baptist Church was talking to a member of this hacking group called Anonymous. And so out of curiosity, I watched it. It was a face I'd seen before, this woman involved in the church. And after watching this, you just really get the impression she doesn't listen to anybody. She just takes the opportunity she can to spout as much as she can, as fast as she can, and, and really doesn't care what anyone says to her. You know, I got a little curious about the whole deal, what was going on with the hacking and, and, and taking it on their website, and you know, I tried to access their site, and it wouldn't come up, and I checked out the Wikipedia page and read all their views on, or, well, skimmed through it and saw a few of their views on on different religions, and, and they're just crazy. And if you're not sure who the Westboro Church are, they're the people who go and protest at the funerals of soldiers who have died in Afghanistan and Iraq, and are doing all the gay protests. You know, they, Everyone who's not Christian is... You know, a devil worshipper and and whatnot. You know, they're down on Islam, down on Hindu, down on Jew. The craziest one was Jews saying that only, the only true Jews are Christians. I don't know how that's supposed to work, but then I'm not even going to try and understand the people how these people's minds work. It's just not worth my time. My first reaction to their website being taken out was great. You know, these people are some of the worst waste of oxygen on earth. You know, but then when I stopped to think about this a little bit. I realize this is actually probably one of the worst things you can do. All they want is attention. And doing this is giving them more attention. And I'm guilty of it too because, you know, once I saw this, I thought, oh, what's all this about? And I went and I went to look for their website and I looked up their Wikipedia page. And in that way, I was giving them attention, which you don't want to do. That's all they're after. They just want attention. Every little thing anyone does to them gets them more attention and they see it as more justification. Without people listening to them, they have no voice. So every time someone protests, every time someone complains, every time someone hacks their website, it's more attention for them, it's more news for them, it's more time they get to bask in the focus of, of the media. Lots of people have talked about passing laws to keep them away from funerals. And other people say, well, no, that's, that's, that's freedom of speech, you can't do that. And there's arguments for both things. I would like to hope that just common human decency would would keep someone from protesting and intruding on the saddest moment of someone's life where where they're mourning the loss of a, a father, a, a mother, a daughter, a son, a brother, a sister who has died serving their country, even if it is a misguided war. But they don't have basic human decency, obviously. Just about everybody outside their church would like to see them go away. But every time we complain about them, on the TV, on the radio, on the internet, it's just providing more and more attention for them. And so, myself, I'm guilty too, because here I am making a video about them. I don't want to say, you know, let's protest them, let's get them. You know, there's counter-protests, it doesn't work, it gets them more attention. There's, you know, hacking the website, it doesn't work, it gets them more attention. They'll be back up. They will get their website back up, and there's nothing you can do to ever stop them. I mean, sure, someone, you can hack and hack and hack, and it'll, and it'll cost them money to fix it, but it's not a solution. The only solution is to make them go away. The only way to ever make them go away really is to take away their voice. The only way to take away their voice is to stop listening, stop paying attention to them. They want to get their message out. And they need people to be paying attention to them to get their message out. I think the only way to shut them up is to stop listening. It's like a bully on the playground. If the victim doesn't respond, the bully's got nothing. These people want you to respond. These people need you to respond. If you don't respond, they lose everything. So stop responding. So if we stop listening to them, we take away their voice. It can't just say, ignore them and they'll go away. That's naive. That's not going to work. It's more of you have to ignore them so they become irrelevant, which is more difficult. I'm not really sure how to accomplish that myself. I'm sure if people do start ignoring them, they'll try and scream louder. But that's then you have to ignore them all the harder. All the harder? have to ignore them all the more. If we can make them realize they're irrelevant, then maybe let's shut up and go away. Stop giving them TV time. Stop interviewing them. Stop giving them radio time. Ignore their website. This is easy for me to say. I'm not one of the people who has to try and live with them 
barging in on one of the saddest moments of my family's life. To me, I, that's the solution I see. I just don't know how to implement it. There's no easy answer. In this case, since I'm advocating ignoring them, there are no links provided below in the doobly-doo.